Hello, hello. It is Thursday morning. Only just, there is only 20 minutes left of the morning. Um, and this is the first time that I have filmed for the day just because I've been really busy. Um, trying to get my video vlog from last week all edited and stuff. I have a lot of footage, mostly of me talking because that's what I do. But anyway, I have a lot of footage and, um, I just want to try and make the video itself shorter. Anyway, do you like my hair? I um I had to quickly just let it dry itself, so it's done. It's done its own thing. It's quite hilarious, actually. I've got all these weird curls. I don't. I didn't know I had curls. Anyway, um, yeah. So I've just had my appointment at the Marta. Um, my midwife appointment. So I was of the understanding that I am in the Marta midwife's. Um program and therefore I see midwives when I have my appointment and I was starting to get frustrated because the last two times I've had appointments it's been with a doctor and I only had one appointment with one midwife and my understanding was that they told me every appointment you'll have a different midwife or you might see one that you've already seen and one of those will be one of the midwives who is there at your birth which I was like, okay, cool, that sounds great. And then the last two times I've had the same doctor and I was getting frustrated. So anyway, this time I had another doctor. She was great, by the way, but I asked her, um, you know, like, so when do I get to meet my midwives? Because I was told that I would. And she was like, oh, you don't. And you're booked in with doctors for the whole time. I was like, oh, okay, that's really weird. And then I told her all of that and she was like, yeah, no, that's not true because a lot of the midwives here, they're only here for like 10 weeks and then they're gone. So I don't know why you got told that. I'm so sorry. I was like, oh, okay. So, but anyway, she was lovely. I really liked her. I was able to talk to her very openly and honestly about my um, birthing plan, which was really good. And she was really supportive and helpful and, um, yeah, didn't, didn't make me feel, um, I guess looked down on for any of my choices and I guess I was very confident in in what it was that I wanted um so yeah she's like yeah that's great just make sure you write it down you know like if that's what if that's what you want and obviously with all of that I'm open to things I'm not gonna say no and then if there's some chance that I'll die still say no obviously I'm not a crazy person um, but I feel like that's what people believe when you have a birthing plan that no matter what even if there's a chance that your your baby will die that you will stick to your plan because that's so not what happens like God, people can be so judgmental but anyway so um, <clears throat> yeah this morning I've been editing. I have a few bookkeepy things to do for Blake. And we've been getting heaps of calls because the wind yesterday was so intense. So lots of people need some work done, um, which is good. We really need that. <laughs> we really like that. Um, but yeah, so it's been it's been a quite a busy morning. Um, as you can probably still tell, I'm still quite stuffed up. Uh, it's not. It's delightful. But yeah, whatever. Uh, I'm super thirsty despite having several litres of water today. Um, yeah, the only thing is, the so my Uber driver on the way there was great. I liked him. He was really cool. We had a really good conversation. On the way back, the guy wore so much aftershave, I could barely breathe and I felt like I was going to spew. It was really disgusting. Ugh. In other news, I've updated my phone, so I have all of the new emojis, which I haven't explored yet, so I'm going to do that too. Um, I don't know if anybody else likes to do that, but I love a good emoji. So, I have finally finished uh, editing the video. I've had a long day of like chopping and changing and doing a whole bunch of other things in amongst, so it took some time anyway. I did get it down to less than 45 minutes, I'm pretty sure, which is pretty good considering I had something like two and a half hours worth of footage to cut down. So I think I did very well. Uh, I'm sure you could see because you would have seen the vlog by now. Uh, but I just had a phone call from my friend Nadine. She's going to be leading the meditation portion of my Blessing Way on Sunday morning. And... Um, she's amazing so she's a naturopath she's been a naturopath for nearly 20 years um, and I love her she's just one of those people who's like 
energy just gives you a hug every time you talk to her or see her and I just I feel very blessed to have her in my life she's a really wonderful person anyway um, of course because she can't help herself she's uh, making up some herbs for me to take she's coming over tomorrow and um, she's also um, suggested some energetic healing that I can do because this cold seems to be sticking around so when once I finish doing the front cover of the video because um, it's rendering at the moment um, then I will um, spend some time basically un under her advisement writing down all of the things that are frustrating me at the moment which um, are a lot of things <laughs> things have been quite stressful and I received another thing today um, that was is quite hurtful and stressful so anyway she said to write down all of the things that are frustrating me no matter how long the list is just keep writing until you can't write anymore and um, she says to burn them and while I'm burning them, talk about how I'm ready to let go of them and I'm going to work on them with the Dean tomorrow and to see if there is a pattern in amongst all of the things that are causing me frustration at the moment uh, because she says often when there's a long list of frustrations and you've got something that's that's sticking around and you're doing all of the right things physically it's the it's the spiritual stuff that you need to look at which I totally agree with but I'm very new to that all of that so I'm I'm just open to trying it and seeing what works for me and all of that sort of stuff and Nadine is always really good with this sort of stuff I really love her so that is a really wonderful thing that I'm going to do. I also did have a look, if any of you are not familiar with Louise Hay, she has a book called You Can Heal Your Life. I don't have a copy of it. I do often whenever I'm sick or Blake's sick or whoever, I will look up um, the Louise Hay list of of meanings of different symptoms and and um, the one for colds, actually, I'll see if I can find it. I just had it open so too much going on at once mental confusion disorder and small hurts I've had a lot of small hurts over the last couple of weeks um, and I have a lot going on the other one that I looked up was sinus because hello I can't breathe and it says um, irritation to one person or someone close I don't have a particular well I do have one particular person my dad but you know yeah so I'm thinking that that's gonna have something to do with it for God's sakes thanks a bunch dad as per freaking usual if you are wondering if you've got something that's kind of niggling I do recommend that you look this up um, because you might find that there's it might um, it might pinpoint something that's going on for you emotionally it's definitely worth looking into like you don't just look it up and go okay well this is going on you look it up and then you go okay well what can I do to clear this emotional spiritual thing that's going on for me um, so obviously writing down stuff and burning it the way that Nadine has um, has suggested to me is good but actually like looking at the problem and and seeing what you can do in your life to actually fix that problem so if there's somebody who you feel is taking advantage of you for example you can confront them or if um, if you're having stress about a certain area of your life like what can you actually do practically to change that and you might find that by doing that that this particular issue shifts okay nose represents self-recognition I can't even breathe ruddy nose asking for help yeah hi <laughs> um, and inner crying I've been doing a lot of crying as well out of crying um, stuffy nose not recognizing the self-worth yeah I can I can definitely feel that way um, yeah it's I don't know it's very interesting either way so look it up if you if you're feeling like you've got something niggling just investigate can't hurt it's not gonna kill you to like look at the spiritual aspect of things um, people think of it as a really dangerous thing to do but like seriously it's really not What's so dangerous about figuring out your own shit and then working on it? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. 
So Blake and I have been running a few errands this morning. It's about, oh, it's one o'clock now. It's not even this morning anymore, oh well. Uh, but basically I've been getting a few supplies for my blessing way on Sunday. So I got some henna cones. They were only $2 each. So people are going to paint my belly with the henna. So that'll be interesting. I'm making bath salts for all of my guests um, as a thank you, basically. So um, I had to get some Epsom salts. I got some lemongrass and some lavender. Oh, Blake's back. Hello. And I also bought some crystals because I need some crystals. I need black crystals um, because you have to have, for the different elements, um, white crystal, a blue crystal, a yellow crystal, and black crystal. And I have all of them except black. And then I just bought myself some more crystals because crystals are really pretty. That's really the story there. Um, but anyway, so I got all of that. What else? And I bought a sage stick as well. Um, and then I bought a few supplies to make the macadamia raw vegan caramel slice that I'm going to make tomorrow, which Blake is really jealous about because he doesn't get to eat it until after the blessing way is over if there's any leftovers. Hey, sweet boy, are you using the cold mat that mummy bought for you? It's a bit hot today, isn't it? Such a sweet boy. Mummy loves you. I'm currently attempting to make Hainan chicken rice and I'm following a Po recipe, but she says to get five, um, five spring onions and tie them in a knot. And, I mean, this is... This is the spring onions and it's almost the same size as the chicken. It's supposed to go in the cavity of the chicken, right? How? <laughs> I don't understand. I think I'm going to have to like put it beside the chicken rather than inside the chicken. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying. I really like Hainan chicken rice. Anybody else does? I mean, if you don't, then I just don't think you're very human, really, because it's delicious. Obviously, if you're vegan, then you're not going to like it. But other than that, like, you know, high on chicken rice. It's like oh, one of my favorite things to order. Anyway, yeah, I guess I'm just going to chuck that in the pot and hope for the best. So I cooked my high on chicken rice. I am absolutely crap at cooking rice, apparently. But... You know, it smells good, so I'm happy. I spent the afternoon uh, sorting out just a few details for my blessing way with Nadine and Laura. So Nadine is running the meditation and the ceremony, basically. And um, Laura's hosting it, so it's at her house. She's in charge of basically making it look pretty. I'm making a raw vegan macadamia caramel slice. And she's making some other stuff. There's only a few people coming. It's only a little thing, but I think it's going to be like the perfect amount of people. So we just chatted about other stuff that we need because we're gonna. I'm gonna bring a whole bunch of my plants over, and we're gonna fill the whole room with plants, basically to give it a better energy. Uh, Nadine's gonna come over early and sage the place. I'm gonna get there early as well to help set up and just make sure I'm nice and clean because I'm going to get foot massage and everything is going to be so nice and I think it's something that I really need. Um, I also had a really good chat with Nadine about basically everything that's been going on and like I've just had so much stuff and um, yeah she's just really intuitive I guess and um, really helped me to see what what it's all trying to teach me um which I feel is that the strength that I do have within myself and and I don't have to fear doing things on my own that there are definitely benefits to the situation that I'm in um in that like you know my family isn't close and, and Blake's family isn't close and you know I have a few friends of course but um, I guess I've, ha I've got a lot of fears about fears and, and just feelings of loss because I don't have those close relationships with 
fa uh, like my family like other people do. I've had a lot of hang-ups about that for a long time and a lot of fears around it, but when I was talking to Nadine, I realised that the universe has been basically trying to show me that that I'm strong enough to 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 do this and that Blake and I are strong enough to do this as well and even if it all fell apart we'd have each other um, and I do know that it's not that I don't know that but I think I just needed a little bit of a nudge and a reminder so um, she's tasked me with another task which was write down all the benefits of not having support which is a, a Dr. John Martini technique like your brain will naturally think of all the negatives in a situation so you write down all of the positive things that you can think he recommends 50, 50 to 100 uh, she said 20 but I'm, I'm going to see how many I can do I'm just going to write until I can't write anymore and um, yeah so he just says to write that all down so that you no longer have a a, a negative feeling or like overly negative or overly positive you just have a neutral feeling about it um, and that's what kind of helps to clear things and help you grow and all that sort of stuff so I thought that was really good advice of course it's good advice it's Nadine I'm very lucky to have the people that I have in my life and I just I don't know the older I get and the longer I live the more faith that I have that the universe is steering me in the right direction and, and is is you know putting the right people in my life at exactly the right time for exactly the right reason and I don't know I just I just have faith in all of it and it just the more faith that I have in it the more ab abundance I guess that it brings and the more the more good stuff it brings I guess it just I feel like I'm in the flow a bit and it just I don't know feels really nice. So I'm just at the flower market, so it's right around the corner from me. I need to buy some flowers to um, make my own flower crown, so, so that's what we're doing. See if I can get some nice footage of some flowers for you guys. Saturday people um, so today I am preparing for my blessing way mother blessing whatever it's called um, which is tomorrow and part of that is that I actually am making myself a flower crown now um, I usually wouldn't do that um, my sister is like trained as a florist so she actually did my wedding flowers and stuff which a lot of people really loved they were huge um, but anyway, so I am making myself a flower crown, which is what the, this wire is for. It's why I went to the florist this morning. Um, there's like a, a, it's supposed to be a discount florist. I don't know. I mean, I don't know anything about flowers, but, um, I, I did spend, I think $50 buying the flowers and I only got three bunches. Um, but the thing is, is that I've got a photo shoot on, um, Monday with Justin. And so I thought like it would be the perfect time to do it so I, I basically I, I booked it in with him for the Monday so that if I made myself a flower crown for tomorrow hopefully it would survive you know the couple of days if I keep it in the fridge for the majority of the time and um, and then I can have a flower crown for my little photo shoot so anyway I, I bought peonies and carnations so I'll show you so I got the white, they're kind of white with a little bit of blush pink in them. And then I got peach and coral colored carnations. So these ones are slightly smaller than these ones, as you can probably tell. Um, but I had to call my sister while I was there. So my sister doesn't live here, she lives a couple of states away. So I don't know why, but there was just something I, as soon as I thought about having a flower crown, I wanted peonies in it. So, or even just one, but like a nice big one on the top there and I was talking to my sister she's like I don't know they, they seem a bit big try and get some medium flowers as well as some small ones to go with it so that's what I did and I'm going to just get some greenery from the garden slash the neighbor's garden and um, also out the front we've got a bottle brush and I'm just gonna use that to make it 
you know, all look pretty and all of that sort of stuff. I have made the wire crown. I'm going to put tape on it because it does have little edges. See, there we go. And I don't want to get stabbed. Um, but yeah, I've got some, some tape. What do you call it? Florist tape. Um, and yeah, I've watched a couple of tutorials on YouTube on how to do this. And I guess as per usual with most things, I am winging this, but I think it will look really nice. Um, yeah, I think the colors are really pretty. They'll definitely go with the dress that I'm planning on wearing on Monday. But yeah, so I, I had to, you know, call my sister while I was at the florist to, um, you know, get some help and some ideas of what to do. Um, yeah, she's an incredibly creative and just generally talented person when it comes to these sort of things. So um, I'm just hoping that her influence will rub off on me and my flower crown will look nice. So um, wish me luck, guys. Hopefully it will look nice. Um, yeah, I just think, you know, if it cost me $50 to buy these flowers, how much do flower crowns cost to get made? Like, oh, probably a couple hundred dollars, right? This is my greenery. Just chopped it from the um, bottle brush in the nature strip. I think that'll be plenty. I do have ants crawling on me now, though. So this is where we're at so far and I think already it's starting to look good. See look there's an ant from outside um, but I'm thinking that the red is just making this look so much less bridal which is great because obviously I don't want to look like a bride but I just think it's gonna look so cool and I'm having so much fun so yay! Because of the hot weather I'm taking a little bit of a break from doing the flower crown because I don't want it to wilt so it's sitting in the fridge right now so I'm actually making the uh, caramel slice that I'm making for tomorrow um, it's from the Lola Berry cookbook so it's raw vegan um, you know it's no refined sugar it's got dates in it and maple syrup and stuff like that so it's still sweet but it's it is heavenly so if you haven't um, tried it it's from the food to make you glow cookbook by L Lola Berry <clears throat> and it's just it's just really yummy um, yeah so that's what I'm making and then uh, I've got to make bath salts as well mm -hmm. it is hot today Ooh. <clears throat> Look how pregnant I am. I will be 35 weeks pregnant tomorrow, apparently. Although, according to the hospital, my due date is the 9th, not the 6th. So, um, then I would be 35 weeks on Wednesday or something. I'm not sure. But anyway. Trying to keep cool, it's not actually even that cold in the pool. What you doing under there, Zig? Oh, buddy. It's a bit hot, isn't it? Here you go, baby. Oh, Cracked open a cold one. Thank you. Yes, cheers. Cheers. So, I was just saying to Blake, you know you're doing pretty good as a practitioner when you bump into another practitioner that you know and all that you're holding from the supermarket is two fermented drinks and a bag of dates. <laughs> For example, like if I had chocolate or something, not that it would, she would care or anything like that, but yeah, I was just like, yes, representing my, my, um, my industry well by eating my healthy stuff. Got us both some fermented colas because it's hot, they're delicious, and I think Blake has definitely deserves a treat, and I just deserve one because I'm amazing, and it's hot and I'm pregnant, and I have a little lamby pushing down on my bladder constantly. I've peed so much today. Um, so I've just been to Overflow, and I got some nice jars to put the um, bath salts in. So hopefully I have enough. <laughs> I bought some dates to make the rest of the slice with 
I got some incense because incense is really nice. I got Karma, which I've never um, found before, but I do know that brand it just smells really nice. And then I got Super Hit because Super Hit's really good. Some paint brushes and then some. Um, I really wanted stones so that people could paint some stones, but I couldn't find any. Laura couldn't find any. It's just a bit hard. So I've got little gift tags so people can just paint those and just paint positive words or maybe a picture or something um, so that I can look at them while I'm in labour and stuff and just remind me of of all of them. I'm really excited about my Blessing Way, Mother Blessing thing. Um, I haven't finished my flower crown only because it was getting quite hot and I was afraid that the flowers would you know not really survive so um, the flower crown itself is is in the fridge I do have um, a vase of flowers on the table in the lounge room uh, so hopefully those ones will be okay so I have made everybody some lovely bath salts they're very tea heavy but I'm fine with that so I've got lavender lemongrass passion flower vervain hops and I think that might be everything, but it smells incredible and it's going to be really, really lovely in the jars that I've purchased. Good morning. It is Monday now. My uh, my blessing way slash mother blessing was yesterday, and um, it was really like lovely morning. It was a big morning. Um, a bit tired yesterday, um, but also yesterday Blake had somebody. Uh, long story who they are, but somebody came over and helped him with the high jet. So we got the engine in. And he got all these things in, and that was really awesome. But. I wanted to talk to you a bit about my blessing way slash mother blessing thing um, because most people don't really know what it is and um, it just it honestly it was a really important thing for me to do um, especially like after it was over and everything I just felt like oh my god I'm so glad I decided to have both um, there was a really big part of me that was just like oh people are gonna just think I'm so selfish having two events for myself um, before the baby but to be honest like nobody has to participate in things they don't want to it's totally fine so they were both completely different and um, their purpose was different and technically I'll be having another baby shower when I go down to Christmas with Blake's family because none of them were able to come up for our baby shower so really I'm gonna have two baby showers and a blessing way slash mother blessing so you know I'm just that special um, the mother blessing itself was just a really beautiful ceremony. Um, it was very no frills, I guess is the word. Um, I have to say my favorite part was the massage. I got one person on each hand, one person on each foot and someone on my shoulders. And then even at one stage on my back as well, it was really nice. Um, and like there were certain, certain people, uh, and getting certain spots and I was just like oh god uh, this is really good and nobody really knew what I was reacting to because there was like three different awesome spots being touched at once and I was just like oh my god I'm so sore <laughs> this is so good um yeah so it was it was just a really nice thing and I I mean for me really like and I've said this already it, it was a sub it was a celebration of you know, the next part of my journey as a mother. And, um, it's really important to me to be able to celebrate that because I just feel like I've had a lot of energy shifts in the last couple of weeks or at least an energy shift and a lot of things have been happening. Uh, and it was just such a nice way to put it all together. It wasn't too woo woo or anything like that. And Nobody had to participate. It was all, you know, voluntary and all of that sort of thing. Um, and it was just really, really lovely. So we set up 
we set up the space. We had north, south, east, and west, and each of the elements were represented in the north, south, east, and west. And um, Nadine, who ran the ceremony, saged the whole room before everyone got there. And then at the start of the ceremony, she saged herself. And when she came to sage me, like as soon as I, like as soon as the sage came to this side of my body, like I felt the energy of it just. Whew, it was really cool. Um, that doesn't, that's not usually something that I am aware of. So I really liked that. And then she saged everybody else in a circle. Um, and we did a couple of different acti activities, like everyone introduced themselves. And if they were a mother, they said their child's name and they said their mother's name and, um, and you know, just all of that and there was one point where somebody asked like how I how I actually knew everybody in the group which was really nice so I got to talk about how I knew everyone and I got like we got everyone to like write like some words or something or paint some words um, for me on some just gift tags I wanted to do it on stones but we couldn't find any um, but yeah on gift tags and um, so that I can have those during the labor we tied um, what do you call this? Yarn, tied yarn around our wrists and, and everyone was connected and we just did a little ceremony at the end for that. Um, and basically everyone's got to wear these until the baby comes, which could be like five weeks or less or more, who knows? I tell the person who was next to me when the baby's here and then they tell the next person, they tell the next person. The energy of the room was really nice because there was that intention. Um, I had my belly painted with henna as well, which was really lovely. Um, a few people were a bit nervous about it. And I was like, eh, it doesn't matter. It's just henna. Like, I don't mind what it looks like. It's fine. And this afternoon, we have our maternity photo shoot with Justin Ma, who is our wedding photographer. Um, and he's really just lovely. So I'm really excited because we haven't seen him, of course, since the wedding and he's so sweet and lovely and it'll be really, really nice to see him. Uh, but also he's an incredibly talented photographer as well. So hopefully it will look nice. I'm hoping that my flower crown will hold out. It's currently in Laura's fridge. Um, so we'll pick it up on the way there. But um, I've got a nice big zip coming up, which is Good timing. Thank you for that, universe. Uh, yeah, and I'm going to wear, hopefully, my Mr. Zimmy dress that I wore to the wedding that I had when I was 28 weeks pregnant, I think I was, or 27 weeks pregnant, something like that. Um, yeah, I think that will still fit. I'm just hoping it's not too hot because that weather has been awful. It's been really humid. Like, the air feels thick. And there's um, bushfires kind of around, so Gold Coast Way and Sunshine Coast Way. So there is a bit of smoke in the air. It's not too bad. I don't find it particularly noticeable, but it is definitely there. I did do some yoga this morning. Blake made me breakfast. He made um, hemp flour banana pancakes with bacon, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, nitrate-free bacon and some maple syrup. So not the healthiest breakfast ever. Um, I was planning on making myself breakfast, but, um, he made me breakfast, so I can't complain about that. And I'm jokingly trying to convince my friend Laura to come over and massage my feet every day because she's really, really good at it. <laughs> and he didn't bark at the post and when he wagged his tail, it was really, really cute. Are you feeling it? Yeah. Okay, I just did it, mate. Hi, baby. So, we got our nappies, so we're going to open them. Blake has volunteered without me asking to. Um, is there a rip tab on these bags? Just grab it and rip it. I don't know if I'm strong enough. Alright, maybe I am. Anyway. Oh. Oh. Look at that. What is that? Ooh. Oh, does it smell good? Yeah, it smells good. Oh my god, baby, look. What is that, Ziggy? Ooh. Oh, and she's tied them up with some wool. That's really cute. That's cool, that look cool, Alan. This is the succulent one. Oh, yeah? It's got a little terrarium on the butt. 
It's a butt tram. It's cute. The yellow, the orange, I really like the orange. What is it, Ziggy? What's that? Red. What else have we got? Oh, this is the drawing one, which I thought was kind of cute. It's got an upside down Christmas tree on it. Here we go. And a plane on your bum. There might be just the pine tree. Huh? Yeah, no, but it's the That's Christmas tree. Wow. This one's got trees on it too. Oh, cool. That's the one you like. Yeah. This one's got dinosaurs. And green. And then. That's rainbow cotton. Cool. It's really cool, isn't it? Not it's cotton, really nice. Cool. I quite like it. And this one's got little little jungle animals on it. And this one is more jungle animals, basically. Trees again. Blake loves trees. Oh, the blue ones are nice. So that's all our nappies. Yay! It's only half of them, really. We still need another collection, but we're halfway there. It's time for our photo shoot. So Blake is currently in Target because it turns out that the only two pairs of shorts that he has that aren't work shorts are covered in dirt and they look terrible but hopefully he'll find some shorts in the next five minutes he's probably been in there for about five at the moment then we'll be off and my flower crown's getting another another outing so it should look nice so we just had our photo shoot hence my flower crown That's so like I'm dairy. just gonna do this it doesn't it totally tastes like coconut we, we got the proud and punch icy poles not ice box, icy poles. How's the uh, mango one actually? I haven't tried that one. Tastes like an ice box. Mm. 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 Can I try it? Okay. You want to try more? Mango's nice. Nice. I don't really like mango. Anyway, but it's nice. So Blake got his beard trimmed and his hair cut today. So he's looking really spunky. Look at that beard. Oh yeah, so sexy. Anyway, so Justin Ma, he's the one who's done the photos. So um, hopefully they look good. <laughs> um, I didn't get Just any footage. <clears throat> really? Hmm. Oh, okay. I didn't get any footage. Blake didn't get any footage, but Ziggy had a great time. Ziggy was with us. Um, he got to run around like crazy dogs, so that was really nice. Um, and yeah, it was. What did you think, babe? Was it good? Yeah, it was good. Did yeah, I look good. nice? Yeah, you, you looked yeah, nice. Yeah. And we did some with the flower crown, some without. It's quite heavy, but pretty good for something that I made two days ago, I think. Now we're driving to Brown's Plains to. Pick up something to do with the truck. In mm. Perfect, perfect weather for our icy pole. Yeah, it really is. Icy pole. Play Victorian. We're great, okay? Victorians are brilliant. And if we weren't, then perhaps you shouldn't have married me. Because this baby's gonna be eating icy poles. Ice blocks. Icy poles. I suppose. Blake's just doing a quote while we're in the neighborhood. Are you being a sookie lala? No. Kind of being a bit of a sookie lala. No. I want chocolate. <laughs> I just didn't eat mine, I was trying to explain. As I was trying to explain to Blake, the other day we went shopping, it would have been nearly a week ago, we went shopping and we both went to the chocolate aisle to get some chocolate and I was already in the aisle and I grabbed some mint dark chocolate lint and I saw Blake wander in, grab a couple of peanut slabs and wander out and he didn't notice that I was in there. So we ended up buying both. And Blake ate his um, peanut slab fairly quickly, and we've since eaten the um, the 
the lint mint chocolate but I realized that I haven't eaten my peanut slab yet and so I was just saying to Blake oh I just realized that I've got chocolate it's like so he lit up with this big smile and I was like no but baby it's my chocolate and now he's really sad and depressed <laughs> he's having a bit of a sulk <laughs> and he keeps looking at me <laughs> well let's have a bite I will. I'll let you have a bite. Are you just going to sulk? <laughs> you don't have to have a bite if you don't want one. Well, do you want a bite? You're not saying anything. Sulky Lala. You happy now? You got some chocolate? Yeah, not gonna suck anymore. No, that's mine. <laughs> that's my chocolate. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> it's been pretty uneventful the last couple of days, but um, one thing that has been happening over the last couple of weeks is that presents have been arriving in dribs and drabs um, from friends and family that live interstate. And one of the presents that we got was from my sister. We got that today. And so she sent us all of these adorable onesies and baby clothes that she hand painted herself. So she's just... Um, sent a whole bunch of them over. They're all pink, because uh, she said some of them were painted by some friends at a baby shower, um, and th those friends had a boy, so they didn't want any of the pink stuff. So she sent all of that as well, but some of them she specifically painted for just us. Like, look at this one, that's a bit cute. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. This one's my favorite one. I absolutely love it carrots <laughs> it's so nice and she sent us a few bonds zippies which are the zippy onesies that go from like the foot all the way up um so they're really easy to get the baby in and out of and they have the um the little mitten things so um that's really cool pretty excited about that so that's all in a pile with the nappies because the nappies need to be pre-washed a couple of times um, so I'm gonna wash all of that tomorrow not today uh, just because it was raining today so I didn't want it to rain on my nappies basically uh, but anyway that's the end of the vlog for this week thanks for watching make sure you subscribe like and hit the bell and all of those sort of things share it with anyone who you think might be interested in what's happened for us this week and I will see you next week